Welcome back to my channel. Grief is probably the most overwhelming and scariest emotion that anyone can feel. And because of that, most of us, including myself, will do anything to avoid feeling it. And that even means avoiding watching this video. But stick with me, because I'm going to clarify a lot for you about grief in this video. I'm going to tell you the three most important lessons about grieving. So let's get started. Thanks for being here right now because I care what you're working through. My name is Carol and I'm a life coach from carolcares.com who helps all teens and young adults work through their mental health challenges. If you are thinking about self-harming right now, please hit the video link above at any time during this video. So what is grief and why is grief so overwhelming or scary to us? I personally have associated grieving with what you do when someone close to you has died. But in the past few years of intensive therapy, I've experienced grief for a lot of other reasons. And I think you'll be surprised to find out what these reasons are. So grief is a very natural emotion that you experience after the loss of someone close to you, or even after the loss of something that meant a lot to you. I'll describe it as this really deep sadness that you feel, and it usually involves a lot of crying. So the deep sadness that you feel with grief can come on very strong by itself, but it's not the only emotion that you feel when you grieve. In fact, there are a lot of other emotions that come up at the same time with sadness, and that is why grief can feel so incredibly scary and overwhelming for you. So along with the deep sadness that comes with grieving, other emotions like anger or guilt or maybe even regret can come up that are connected to the loss. For example, when you experience very strong emotions of sadness after the loss of a parent or a grandparent, a relative, a sibling, a friend, or even a pet, this loss can bring up feelings of anger at others or anger at the world or maybe even angry at yourself. And feelings of regret of the past may also haunt you at the same time. So grief is not just about sadness. It involves other emotions as well, all happening at the same time. Some of you may have experienced or are experiencing right now the breakup of a relationship with a significant partner or a close friend. Now, I don't have to tell you how incredibly painful this can be. This loss can bring up such a deep sadness to you. But think about all the other emotions that are connected with this breakup. Breaking up with somebody leaves you dealing with deep sadness, anger, guilt, regret, and other emotions all at the same time. And maybe you can see now why you were left feeling like you just got hit by a truck and why you felt so out of control in your body and your mind because of this breakup. And you are feeling so out of control and crazy that it's so hard to make sense of what you're really feeling. You don't know how to deal with all these emotions that are coming up all at once. So it's understandable why you would want to just shut it all down. What a lot of you don't know is that you can also grieve after losing something that was very important to you. Let's take for example how you might feel after losing a hockey game or after failing a test or not being selected for a sports team or not getting accepted to a college or a university that you were hoping for. These are huge losses and it's very natural to feel grief in reaction to all of them. And most certainly, there are so many emotions that will come up like anger at yourself for not trying hard enough, for not being smart enough, or deep regret for not having the career that you've always dreamed of. This is real pain. It's real sadness, and it's a real loss. All of these emotions create this incredible pain in our bodies, and the last thing we wanna do is feel it. And just the thought of having to do that petrifies us. So I really want to help you with this. And I will do this by telling you the three most important lessons about grieving. Lesson one, there is no right or wrong way to grieve. Grieving is a very personal experience for every person. Each and every one of you will grieve in a different way. It's really important that you remember this when it comes to grieving. You will grieve in the way that feels most comfortable for you and what works for you. Some of you will prefer to be alone so you can grieve privately and people have to respect that. If you don't want to talk about what you're feeling, you don't have to. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to talk about it. You may find it comforting to be around someone else when you're grieving. Maybe you don't want to be alone. Maybe you just want someone to sit with you. You don't even have to talk. It's what you want. 
Some of you may even want to hold on to a favorite stuffed animal or something that reminds you of someone you may have lost. Remember, everyone grieves differently, so you're going to find your own way to grieve. There's no right or wrong way to grieve. The most important thing is that you grieve in the way that feels most comfortable for you. Lesson number two, take all the time you need to grieve. There is no time limit on how long your grieving will take. At first, you may feel very numb to what's happening and you just can't cry. Or for others, you may grieve nonstop. Maybe all you do is cry all the time. Crying may come in waves. That means you may be really, really sad or cry a lot, then stop for a period of time, then all of a sudden it will start up again when you least expect it. Something may even trigger you even months or years after your loss, even when you thought that you finished all your grieving. So remember, take as long as you need to recover from your losses. Don't let anyone tell you how long it should take to get over your pain. If you feel like you need some additional help to deal with your pain, then seek out professional help from a therapist or a grief counselor. Lesson number three, other people will try to tell you how and when to grieve. Your loss is personal. If you experience a loss in your life that is very significant to you and you choose to grieve in a way that is most comfortable for you, you will find that other people around you, let's say parents or relatives or maybe even friends may say things like, get over it or suck it up or stop feeling so sorry for yourself or cheer up, things will get better or why are you even crying when other people have it worse? Or you might get, that happened so long ago, why are you still crying over that? So remember this, other people can't tell you how you should or shouldn't grieve or how long it should take you to grieve. Don't let anyone tell you how to deal with your loss. You will grieve in the way that is most comfortable for you. You will choose to grieve when you want to grieve and you will take as long as it takes to work through your pain. These insensitive comments from other people may also bring up emotions like shame, guilt, or even anger. And this is another reason why you may want to shut it all down. So I think I will link a few videos on other emotions at the end to help you work through these emotions. In my next video in my grief series, I want to talk about what grieving may look like or feel like emotionally and physically in your body and why you are so scared to grieve. If you have any questions about grief or any other challenges you may be experiencing right now, you can fill out a form on my website, carolcares.com under the Ask Carol page. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram. Please let others know about my channel so that they can get the help that they also need. And as always, remember to have compassion for what you're working through and stay safe. Bye for now.